Hey, this is Bremster, and we're starting this guest video with a puzzle called Clone of the Attacks by Philip Newman. Um, so this one has normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine get placed without repetition. We have killer, so digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Um, and um, clone, so digits in these cloned areas must be exact duplicates of each each other so they contain the same digits in the same relative positions so if you were to overlap these they would have ex they would look exactly the same so that digit is that digit that did is that digit um, they're the rules um, I'm going to um, of course linked be uh, below there will be links to all of these puzzles as well as to the genuinely approachable Sudoku YouTube channel and homepage where you can get trackers and all sorts of stuff so anyway I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timeout let's give this a shot so this is a 17 cage the two largest digits you can put into it are an 8 9 so these must be an 8 9 so this is an 8 or a 9 I cannot put a 9 into a 9 cage or the other digit would have to be 0 this is 8 and 1 so this is eight. This is the nine. A seven cage is one, two, four. Um, and the reason for that is the minimum I can put in here is one, two, three. If I put one, two, three in here, I need to increase one of those digits by one. If I increase the one or the two, I would end up with duplicate digits. So I have to increase the three to a four. So this, uh, actually, this can't be a one. So, but this is one, two, four, and it can't be a one. So it's a two or a four. If this was a two, these would have to sum to 18. I've already looked at the fact that the maximum I can make two digits digit sum to is 17 so this is a four these have to sum to 16 this is a four this is a two this is a one now 16 now if i was to do um the, well i've already looked at the fact that the maximum they could sum to is 17 with eight nine but i have to reduce one of those digits by one if i was to reduce the nine by one i'd end up with two eight so i have to reduce the eight by one these become seven nine this is also a seven nine so this is also a seven nine i've got a seven nine in the column but that's resolvable because this is a 14 cage. If that was a 7, this would also have to be a 7. So that's the 9. This is the 5. This is the 7. This is the 9. This 9 looks up here making that the 9 and that the 7. Um, this is a 23 cage, which using the same logic, 7, 8, 9 being 24, I have to reduce one of them becomes 6, 8, 9. There's no 9 here, so this is the 9. The 8 looks down, making that the 6 and that the 8. The 6 goes here. These have to sum to 4, which is 1 and the 3, using exactly the same logic. Um, by Sudoku, that's a one. So that's a one by clone, meaning that's a three and that's a one. Um, seven is in one of those. That's not it. Um, where am I looking? Nine is in one of those two, Can but nine can't be there. So that's not the nine. That's the nine. So nine is in one of those, but it can't be there or there. That's the nine. Can I place all of the nines? Nine is in one of those two. Can that? But that one can't be a nine. So that's a nine. Nine is in one of those, but it can't be there. Can nine be there? No. So this is the nine. They're all the nines. What about eights? Well, this is now an eight by Sudoku, meaning that's an eight by Sudoku because of the eights looking up. Eight is in one of those two. Eight is not in any of those. And eight can't be there because there's an eight in the box. So that's an eight. Putting eight down here by Sudoku. Eight there would put eight there, which it can't be. So it's not. And that eight sees that one. So that becomes an eight. Eight, 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 eight. So eight in here is in one of those two, but that can't be an eight because it would reflect there, which sees an eight. So that's the eight. That's not the eight. That's the eight. Okay. Now, um, one, one, one is in one of those two. That's not as powerful. One is in one of those two. Right, where's one in this column? I can't put one there, there, or there. That's the one. That's not the one. What's the next digit? Seven is in one of those three. Seven here would put seven here. That does work. What's So what are these? Three, five, six, and seven. This is a six by Sudoku. So these are three, five, and seven, which is fine. So this is three, five, or seven, and it's not a three. So this is not a three. They are five and seven. So what's these two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two and four. So this is two or four. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, five, six. There's no ah, there's no three in either of those. That's a five, six. That's a three, meaning that's a three. 
meaning in this box, three is in one of those two, but that three means that's the three. This is not the three, which puts three down here. That's not that helpful, is it? Uh, five, six. So these, oh, where's four in this row? That's the four, that's the two, meaning that's the two. These are a one, two pair. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are five and six. So this is five or six. They give me a five, six pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are two and seven. Oh, the six makes that the five, which makes that the five, which makes that the six and that the five. This is very cool. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are three and four. This is very cool. The five makes that the six, which looks like making that a six. This in the row, one, two, three, is a four. So this is a four. These are two, five, and seven. Not sure what to do with that. What are these two? One, two, three, four, five, two, and six. So that's the two and that's the six. So these are four, five, and seven. There's no four there. That's not it. So what are these digits? One, two, seven. So this is one, two, or seven. So this is two or seven. There's no one here, and there's no two here. This is a seven. This is a seven, meaning this is a five, meaning this is a five. Now I'm completely done with all of the clones and all the killer and everything. The seven says that's not a seven. This is a one, two pair. There's no seven here. That, that's a four meaning this is a five, seven pair. This row is missing a two, meaning that's not a two. These are three, four, and five. So three, four, five, that's not a four. Uh, four, five looks up saying that's the three. So that's the five, that's the four. The three, this is a five, seven pair. Uh, except the five makes that the seven, that the three, that the five, that the seven. Very cool. Five looks down, making that the seven, so that's the two. These are a pair. Three, six. The six makes that the three and that the six. This is missing a one in the column. One, two, three, four, five, seven. The four comes out of there. The five comes out of there. The seven comes out of there. The five makes that the four, that the seven, that the five. The seven makes that the two and that the seven, which makes that the one, which makes that the two and that the one. The four makes that the three and that the four. One, I've got to put a two in there. I need to put a three in there. Four, five, six. Seven minutes and 10 seconds. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that puzzle. Um, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I missed this one and I'm recording this one. When I was going through the list, I, I missed it and I'm recording this one after I recorded Clovers. It's the way it goes. Um, that was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, thanks, Philip. And we will see what the next... Well, I know the next one is Clovers uh, XV because I've already recorded it. We'll see what the one after that brings. Uh, yeah, these, I'll release these in the right order. I recorded them in the wrong order. It happens... Okay, the puzzle for the July the 6th, 2024 is another XV negative by Clover. I really enjoyed the last one. Um, so XV negative, normal Sudoku rules apply and digits separated by an X sum to 10, digits separated by a V sum to five. So basically um, what that's meaning is if there was a, to be an X between two cells or a V between two cells, then those would... Um, would have to sum to 10 or 5. Now, they would always be horizontally separated, so um, it's not possible for there to be diagonal separation. So normally you would say cells separated rather than digit separated. Um, so if there were two orthogonally connected cells separated by uh, an X or a V, they would need to do it. They would need to have it. Um, so if you're wondering, um, and there are basically all possible X's and V's are given. If there's not an X or a V, there isn't. Digits don't sum to five or 10. Now, 
yeah, it, um, basically, if you've never seen this before, it might be a little confusing by these rules, but basically any domino that is not connected by an X or a V cannot sum to 5 or 10, so none of these can. Now, one of the things that is worth pointing out is the previous puzzle, um, if I remember correctly, was all using low digits, which had the V constraint and the X constraint in play from the beginning. This is using high digits, so the V constraint isn't automatically involved. So high digits are less constrained than low digits, sort of. So we'll see how this one goes. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we can never put four in any of those cells. So four is in one of those two. We can never put three here. Three is in one of these. Similarly, two is in one of these and one is in one of these. This must be the five because this can't be one, two, three or four. So the five goes in the middle. And this is the same in all of these boxes, which I believe is what happened last time. So this is not the right place. Uh, I think I did this wrong. This isn't the place for the one. This is the one. So this is one or two. This is, again, I'm not going for speed because um, I've given up on trying to speed solve these. So we end up with the four in one of those, the one in one of those, the three in one of those, and the two in one of those, because otherwise we would end up with the 10. Similarly, is there any, yeah, this can't be the four. So this is the two. Um, so this is the one, this is the three, and this is the four. Up here, this can't be the two. This is the one, this is the three, this is the four, this is the two. Now down here, one cannot, no, one cannot be in one of those. So one is in one of those. Four is in one of those. Three can't be, three is down here and two is up here. Now, is any of that being seen? Not as obviously. Okay, so this is a triple, which is two, four, seven. Now, this can't be a four because it would be next to a six. These can't be seven. So this is the seven. These are two and four. Mm, not sure. Um, eight, eight, eight is in one of these two. It's probably similar. I end, I vaguely remember I ended up doing Sudoku on high digits. So nine is in one of those two. No, it's not. Nine is right here, um, which puts nine up in one of those two. Seven is right here. Eight is in one of those two. I could probably do something with nine. Yeah, nine is in one of those two. Eight is right here, which means I know what these are. These are one, three, and six. There's no six there. There's no one there because that would put it next to a, 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 um, a nine. Now, I've got to remember the V clue is going to come into place at some point to solve this. There's no three here, um, but I haven't seen it yet. Like this can't be an eight or a three. So three can't go in any of those. So three is in one of these two. Because I can't put three here, it would make a V. Can't put three here, it would make an X. Can't put three in any of those. So three is in one of those two. Let's look at this triple, actually, because these are three, four, five. This can't be a three and it can't be a four. That's the five. So this is a three, four. And the four makes that the three and that the four. There we go. Um, do, 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 do. Seven is in one of those two by Sudoku, and it can't go next to the three. That's the seven. So this is a quadruple. One, two, five, six. There's no six or five there. This is a one, two. So this is a five, six. The six is looking down, making that the five and that the six. The two is looking down, making that the one and that the two. This is a pair now, one and two giving us a one, two pair, making that the three, which makes that the four, which makes that the two, which makes that the one, which makes that the two and that the one. These, this can't be a three anymore because it would make a V. So that's the three. Take And these are four and eight. And I've got a four looking up, making that the eight and that the four. The eight looks up saying that's not the eight, that's the eight. This is a triple, but let's do this single digit first, which is a five. Um, so what is this triple? One, two, nine. Well, the one, three, six is looking up saying that's not a one. There's a no nine, or that's the one. Um, so this is a two or a nine. Yeah, not sure, but there is a pair here. One, two, three, six. And I've got a six making that a three and that a six. So I know what these are. Two, four, nine. There's no two at the top. There's no nine in the middle. Um, 
oh, I can't put a two next to a three. That's the four, that's the nine, that's the two. So that's the nine, that's not the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, and can I resolve that? Yes, I can't put a four next to a six, three and four. So these are one and two, and I can resolve that because there's already a two in column six. The two... I don't know, but that four makes that the two and that the four. The one, no, but maybe something here. It's four can't go next to one. That would cause a five. And fives are problems. Well, not fives like this, but fives like what I didn't do. Um, and now we're just down to Sudoku. One goes right here. Two goes in one of those two, but that two is telling me which. Three, I'm just doing it by counting digits because I can. Four is in one of those two, but it's there. Actually, let's just figure out what these are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go in. The five and the six make that the nine. Take the nine out and use the five to look down, making that the six and that the five. Yep. That's exactly what you would expect from a puzzle like that. Just really nice flow. The Sudoku rolls off the constraints. Yep, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Clover. Really appreciated this one. And uh, we'll see what tomorrow's puzzle is tomorrow. Okay, now we have the puzzle for the 7th of July, I think it is, uh, 7th of July 2024, called Coded Pairs Sudoku by Bill Murphy. Um, and how does this one work? So normal Sudoku rules apply and then cages with matching letters contain the same digits, but may or may not be in the same order. So um, an, an A cage will contain a one and something. A B cage will contain a three and something. A D cage will contain a six and something. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So A cages are these ones. So those are A cages. A cages must contain one and two. So that is a one and that is a two. Is there any other A cages? Not that I can see. So let's, um, okay. So what about B cages? B is here and here. So B cages must contain three and four. So there's three and four. Um, C, I don't know. What about D cages? There's a, So D cages are six and eight. So there's six and eight C cages. C is there and there. So these are five and seven. So we've got five and seven. None of the other cages come with digits in them automatically. So we're probably looking for naked singles. Like that cell sees one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this is an eight or a nine in a H cage. Um, probably doing Sudoku. There's right. So this I cage must contain a two because two, two, and two. So the I cage must contain a two. So there's a two in one of those, but it can't be there. So that's a two, which puts two down here in one of these two. So there's no two in an F cage, which I already knew. In fact, I might be able to tell something about that cell. One, two, three, four, can't be five, six, seven, or eight. So this is three, four, or nine, and it's not three. So an F must contain a four or a nine. Where's the other F cage? There. Yeah, no, that's not helping me, is it? Okay, so let's do more Sudoku. Uh, got to do more Sudoku. There's a one in one of those two, but there's no one here. So there's a one in a J cage. So that one is looking up saying it's not there. That's the one. I'm liking this. This is a lot of fun. Uh, just got to figure out how to use it. Um, so if I look at the H cages, which are there and there, those must contain the same digits. So can I look at those in tandem? Like, what can this digit be? It can't be one, two, three, four. It can be five, seven, and nine only. But, oh, no, that doesn't seem to be it. What's the other digit that can go in the J cage? That doesn't seem to be it either. So I've definitely not figured this out. So there's a six in one of those two. Can I put a six in a G cage? I can. I could put it there and there. Okay, I can't put a four in an E cage. I can't put a four there. I can't put a three in a G cage, which I already knew. So this can't contain one, two, three, four. No, this isn't the way of looking at it. I need more Sudoku from somewhere. There's a two in one of those two. So an E cage can't contain a two, but I already knew that. 
one is in one of those two, but I can't put one. So one looking up says one can't be in any of these, but I can't put one in a G cage or that would cause a problem. So this is the one. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. So these are five, seven, and nine. There's no seven there. That's the seven. This is a five, nine. So there's a seven in a G cage and I can't put it. Whoops. I clicked on the wrong window. Let's make that window go away. You, you're not seeing it, but I am. So uh, there's a seven in a G cage, but I can't put it there. So that's a seven. Don't know what that is, but those are the same digit. Am I having to do that? I'm not sure. But these are five and nine. So there's a two and a five, nine in an I cage. So this is a five or a nine. This is interesting. One, two, three, four, six, nine go into those. There's no three or four there. So the other part of the G cage is a six or a nine. So this is a three, four, six, nine quadruple. That's interesting. So these are one, five, seven, and eight. So there's a seven in one of those two. This is very strange. There's a seven down here by Sudoku. Can I put a seven in a J cage? Yes. I, I admit I'm not doing great at these, but I'm enjoying the exploration. Nine can't be in any of those. I don't care if I do badly. I'm enjoying the exploration. It's probably a naked single trick or something. Six is not in those. Six is in one of those two. Can I put a six in an F cage? Yes. Five is in one of those. Can I put a five in a H cage? Yes. Okay, so... E is three, four, six, nine. Hang on, those two digits, those are the same. So those have to go down here. But F doesn't fully overlap with H. So it is possible, but those are the same. Those are also, that's also an F cage. Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Is there another H cage or something I've missed? These are three, four, six, nine. That can't be three, four. That's a six or a nine. This can't be a nine. Again, I'm doing badly. Eight is in one of those two. If there's an eight in here, I'd have to put an eight here. But that would work. If there's an 8 here, there's no 8 in the H cage at all, and that would be an 8. No, I'm, I'm not getting it. There's no 1 in F, but I know that. That is the same digit as that, which means it's in one of those four, but that's... I... No, I don't follow... Where's the other I cage? So those are the same digit. So it's one of those. Oh, where's one in this box? That's a one. That's a seven. So these one, two, three, four, five, six, five and eight go into those. So that's a nine. That's a five. The other part of the I is five which means that's the eight and that's the five. The nine makes that a six. The other part of the G is a six. That's really weird to see, but it is there. That's not the six. This is the six, giving me the seven and the six, and that was it. This is a four. This triple <coughs> is three, eight, and nine. So E is only from three, eight, and nine. There's no four, six in it. So this is the three, this is the nine, meaning this is the eight, and H needs an eight in it, which must go there. This is five, seven, or nine. It's not nine. So this isn't nine. There's no seven in it either. This is a five. This is a five. This is incredibly strange. Takes me a while to figure out the geometry on a puzzle like this, I do admit. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are six and seven. The seven makes that the six and that the seven. There's no six in F, which I got from that. 
So this is a triple. Three, four, nine. It's not an eight. Three, four, nine. That's not a three. So it's just a four, nine in F. So this is four, nine, and this is four, nine. That four means that's the nine, that's the four. Not sure how to resolve it, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are two and three. So that's the two, that's the three, that's the two. These are five, six, and seven. There's no six in those is the best way to do it. So that's the six. The five, seven, not, oh, the five makes that the seven and that the five. So this isn't the seven. The J is one and seven. So that's the seven. This is the nine to complete all sorts of stuff. There's no nine up here in E. Where's the other E? E is three and nine. So there's no eight in E. This is three, nine, eight. And I think that's all of the cages except for this E, which we know is three and nine. So four, six comes out. I knew the six came out anyway. That's the four, making that the nine and that the four. The three and the nine is resolved by the three. There we go. And I think I've done all the cages once I've done that. There we go. That's really cool. One, two, three, four, five, six and eight go in. Not sure how to resolve them. One, two, four go in. No two, no one. Not sure how to resolve those either. That digit right in the middle is a nine. Okay. One, two, three, eight. So eight is in one, eight is there. What are these? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, which means that's the eight, that's the six, which means that's the three, that's the eight. One, two, three, four, and six go in. So four and six, which means that's not the four. One, two, three. So the three is at the bottom. That's a one, two. So one, two, four, two, one. Okay, I wasn't fast at that puzzle, but I really enjoyed the concept of the way these cages worked. The Sudoku I found a little tricky, but the way that they kept the Sudoku kept bouncing back into the cages and giving you more deductions, um, I thought was very, very interesting. I like that one. Thanks, Bill. Lots of fun. Let's see what tomorrow's puzzle is, although I won't see that for a couple of days. Okay, the puzzle for the 8th of July 2024 is called Consecutial. Consecutial? by Philip Newman, um, and this is a Renben con uh, consecutive pairs puzzle. So uh, normal Sudoku rules, Renben, so digits on these purple lines form a non-repeating consecutive set in any order. So what that means is if you were to take the digits that end up on the line, off the line, and sort them, they would be a run of digits. So for example, on this line, if this was two, three, four, uh, say this was a four, um, four, a five, and a two, two, three, four, five. If you were to take those off the line and sort them, two, three, four, five is a run of digits. So that would work. Um, and then cell separated by a white dot must be consecutive. So lots of potential consecutiveness going on. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So um, let's look at this line. Um, this is either one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. Either way, there must be a four on this line. There is no, on a four cell line, even if I start with one, I must put a four on the line. So there is a four down here somewhere. Um, but I don't know much more than that, I don't think. There is something to this I'm not sure about. Um, so, well, this must... Okay, so on this... Okay, this is a one. Because on this line, I cannot, on the Ramban line, not include a three. Because it's either one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But this has to be consecutive with the two, but not on the line. So this is the one. Now this line becomes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I have to go up from the two. This becomes the nine and this becomes the eight. Right. So that's what matters here. Now, and these are three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so I can't put three, four here. So three, four, five, six, seven is in there. Whatever. Now, can I do more with this? This eight must have a seven on the line. <laughs> so this is a six or a seven. There must be a seven on this line, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. Actually, I'm really not sure how this is going to go.
So on this line, this could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That could work. But this could also go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That, eh, uh, ooh, actually, maybe not. Because if I put eight off the line, if I put eight off the line, this would have to go eight, seven, six, wouldn't it? And I can't use a six. So if I don't put, if I put eight down here, yeah, 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 yeah. This is, oh, how to explain this. So if I put eight off the line, so if I don't put eight on the line, it would have to go down here. Now, if I put eight here, this would go seven, six. And then all of a sudden I'd have eight on the line without seven, six to connect to a four. It doesn't work. So the eight would have to go here. And if I put the eight here, this goes seven, six, and that doesn't work. So eight is on this line. And if eight is on this line, this goes eight, seven, six, five, four. What is it? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. These are one and two. I can't put one in the middle. So this is one, two, three. And these are five, six, seven, eight. I just have to do that, I think. There's no eight there. This is part of a five, six, seven pair. One and two are in here. So two, one and two are in here. So at least one of them is on here. And I can't make this two, three. So this is a one, two pair. This is five, six, seven. This is very strange. This is very weird, and I don't think I'm doing a good job. There must be an eight on this, and the eight is looking down saying it's not there. So this is the eight. This is a seven or a nine. Now, this could be one, two, three, four, maybe? If it's not, there's a five on this line, and this would be four, two, three, four, five. These would be six, seven, eight. That would be five. That could work. There's no five there. This is either five, six. Hang on, this can't, I did this wrong. This is four or six. This is either five, six, seven, or five. Oh, this can't be four. This is a six. This is a seven. That mattered. Because on this, what is this now? I can't put a nine down here. So nine is in one of those two. So nine, eight, seven, six, five. So these are from one, two, three, four. Now I can't put one in the middle. This. I can't put one on this line. So one is in one of those two. Now this either goes one, two, one here would put a two there. And that could be possible. No, this can't be the one. This is a two, three, four because of that one. This is a one. This is a two. Now this is a two, three, four. Now, this has to be the middle digit of the two, three, four. This is the three. This is the two, four. Two, three, four, five. Well, I can't use a one. So this is two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And these are one, two, three, four, five. These are seven, eight, nine. There's no eight there. This is a seven, nine pair. So this is a five. So this is three, four, five, or four, five, six, and it can't be a six. This is three, four, five. This is quite tricky but I like it. This is one and nine. So there's no nine there. This is the nine. This is the seven. I like this puzzle. So these are one, two, four, six. There's no two there. This is one or three. This is the nine. So this is nine, eight, seven, six, but this is a run of four digits. This has to go three, four, five, six. Because if I, I can't put the three anywhere else. Basically, if this is seven, this becomes a six because it can't become an eight. And then this is broken. So this is six, five, four, three. And this is the seven. Because once the six is here, this has to be a consecutive run. That five takes five out of there. But one, two, three, four... These are five, seven, eight, nine. There's no five there. There's no five there. Still not doing well at this. There must be an eight on this. So this is seven, eight, nine. There's no eight here because there must be an eight on here. So one, two, three, four. This is the five. There's no five here. Five is in one of those two. This isn't the five. So this is the seven, eight, nine, triple. That's the five. So 
Seven is not there. Oh, th can't repeat digits on this REM band. That's the nine, that's the eight, that's the seven. Seven comes out of those. Now there's a nine on this REM band. So this is nine, eight, seven, six. This is a six, seven pair. And the seven makes that the six and that the seven. Now there must be an even digit on these. It's either four or eight. Not sure yet. There's no six here. St still not quite. Five here would make that four. Six would make that, well, it can't be five or seven. So this isn't a six. Seven would make this eight. So this is four or eight. There must be a four on this. Two, three, four, five. It can't be two, three, four, five. This is one, two, four. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the nine. Still not getting it. Two is in one of these two. Need to put a three in here as well in one of those three. Hang on. No, there is no three in here. This is one, two, five, six, seven. Without there being a five. This is one, two, six, seven. But there is a one in here, but I'm not sure where. No, I've... <laughs> Eight would make this nine. Four would make that three. So this is three or nine. Oh, and the three looks up making that the nine, that the eight, that's the seven, which means this is the six, this is the five, this is a six, seven, eight. The seven, eight makes that the six, this is the seven, eight, making that's the eight, that's the seven. There we go. Eight is in one of those two. That eight says it's not there. That's the eight. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not sh oh, and the two makes that the three and that the two. These are one, four, nine. There's no nine in either of those. So that's the one, four. This is one, two, three, four. And there's no four. So one, two, three. One, four, five. So these are one, four, five. There's no four there. No, I'm still, still lost. The eight looks down making that the seven and that the eight, which looks up making that the nine and that the eight. This is a triple three, four, seven. Three and the seven looks up making that the four, taking the four out, which looks down making that the two, taking the two out. This is one, so therefore this is two. This is the six. Which looks out making that the four and that the six. The seven makes that the three and that the seven, which looks down making that the one, which makes that the nine and that the one. There's no one here. Ah, oh, the five, of course, made that the four, which is one and four, which is five. There's no one in either of those. The four makes that the two, that the three. This is the one and the two. The one and the two makes that the four. This is the one and this is the three. Okay, I was not quick at that puzzle. I don't know if I was ridiculously slow, but I don't think I was as quick as I could have been. But I'm, as, I was, I'm happy with my time on that puzzle. I think there were some quite tricky spots and I probably, it's late, um... So it, uh, and I'll be honest with you, I've just solved a whole bunch of puzzles. Um, so it's possible I just dropped the ball. There was a ball. I dropped it. There was ball droppage. I am not a juggler. I don't juggle puzzles. I cannot juggle puzzles. That, that's basically the rule here. Um, yeah, that was a good one. Um, I think there's one more puzzle to go in this video. Hopefully I, I might be able to get it out tomorrow. I think I might be able to do it in my lunch break. We'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, wish me luck and let's see what that puzzle is tomorrow. Okay, the last puzzle in this gas video is called Non-Consecutive by Clover and it's from July the 9th, 2024. Um, this one has normal Sudoku rules apply and then consecutive digits are never adjacent to each other. So you can never, next to a five, you can never have a four or a six. Next to a one, you can never have a two. Next to a seven, you can never have an eight or a six. Um, 
Bear the rules, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. You can never put a 2 next to a 1, so the 2 in this box has to go here, but you can never put a 2 next to a 3, so this is the 2. You can never put a 4 or a 6 next to a 5, but I do need to put 4 and 6 into this box, so this becomes the 4, 6. I can never put the 4 next to the 3. This is the 6, this is the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are 8 and 9. Uh, I can never put an 8 next to a 7. That's the 9. That's the 8. Can I do the same down here? I can't put 3 next to 2. I can't put 3 here by Sudoku. That's the 3. Um, I can't put 6 next to 7. So 6 is in one of those two. Um, I can't put 4 in either of those. 4 is in one of those two. I can't put 6 next to 5. So this is the 6. This is the 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 and 9 go in, but this 5 means this is the 9 and this is the 5. This is the next most restricted box. I can't put 2 next to 3. I can't put 4 next to 3. So this is a 2, 4 pair. Uh, so these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8. Uh, I can't put 6 next to 5. So that's the 1, 8. This is the 6. And I can't put 8 next to 7 or 9. That's the 1. That's the 8. Not sure. Oh, I can't put 4 next to 5. That's the 2. That's the 4. Great. Now I need to find out how to do it in the less restricted sections. So I can't put 6 in any of these cells. And I can't put 6 in either of those. So 6 is in one of those two. Um... I've been struggling a little with non-consecutive recently. 5, 5, and 5 means 5 is in one of those two, which means I can't put 4 or 6 in either of those, or that would automatically put the 4 or the 6 next to the 5. But I know 6 is down in one of these two. Is it something with the 4? Four is not in either of those or any of those. I don't think that's it. 7 is up here in one of those two. I'm looking in the wrong place, but this is always going to happen. Where is three in this column? I can't put three there because I can't put it next to two and four. I can't put three there or there. That's the three. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go in. Now, this can't be the seven. This can't be the six. This can't be the seven. So the six, nine makes that the seven. I'm not sure what to do with the six and the nine. Is it this quadruple? Two, six, seven, eight. Two, six, seven, eight. So seven is here in the row because I can't put seven in of those. These are now two, six, and eight. There's a two, eight looking up, making that the six, taking six out of both of those. I can't put eight next to seven. That's the two. That's the eight. The six means that's not the six. That's the six, which hasn't touched the five or the seven, which is a little annoying, but this is now a triple. Three, eight, nine. Now there's no eight there. There's no three or nine there. That's the eight, which does that one. Not sure, but this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, five. The one, five makes that the two, and I can take two out of those. Now, this is a one, five. I can't put a one next to a two. That's the five. That's the one. This is not the five. I'm slowly getting there. I don't feel like I'm racing through it. Two in this box now. Can't go in either of those and can't go next to the one. That's the two. So this is four, five, and nine. The four is taking four out of both of those, making that the four. The five is looking up, making that the nine and that the five, which makes that the three and that the nine. Great. Now I've got these at the top of the columns. These are one and seven. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, and nine go in. The nine makes that the four and that the nine. The one makes that the seven and that the one. These are triples. Two, four, seven. The seven says there's no seven there. There's no four there. There's no two there. Can't put the four next to the five. That's the two. That's the seven. That's the four. These are three, six, eight. Now, I can't put three next to the two, and there's an eight in the column. So that's the six. Take the six out of those. And then the eight looks up, making that the three and that the eight. There may have been a better way of doing it, but that's the way I saw it. One and seven in those. I use the one to make that the seven and that the one. This is also a pair. One two, three, four, nine. So I can resolve that straight away. And these are two, five, and six. There's no 
two there, there's no five there, there's no six there by Sudoku, but I also can't put a two next to a one. That's the five, so that's the six and that's the two. The six makes that the nine and that the six. And now I'm down to pairs over here. One, two, well, I've got to put three and I can't put three next to two. That's the three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. So these are one, two, three, four, five and nine. And I use the nine to make this the five and this the nine. Now I'm just down to Sudoku. These are one and five, I think. So five makes that the one and that the five. Need to put a two in, which goes here. This is a triple, which is four, six, eight. There's an eight looking down saying no eight there. That's the eight. I can't put four next to three. So that's the six, that's the four. Five minutes, 25 seconds. Great little puzzle. Um, yeah, really nice non-consecutive flow. Um, use the non-consecutive a lot. I possibly used non-consecutive where I could have used Sudoku or Sudoku where I could have used non-consecutive, but both were available and I felt I was using both equally. Really nice puzzle, really nice ending to this set. Thank you, Clover. Um, thank you also to Philip and Bill. And we'll see what the next set of gas puzzles does bring us. Um, thanks, everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.